guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I got the look that I'm wearing right now. Initially, I was not going to post this video, but I was like, this came out so goddamn cute. I'm loving it, so I was like, this is perfect for spring. So let's get these spring looks rolling. So today, I used the Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. If you guys didn't see, I did a review on this. I will leave it right up here. I did a review on this palette and I have been loving it. I think it is such a beautiful palette. So it's very expensive. So if you're looking for more information on this palette, make sure you guys click it up there. But I'm going to overall just show you guys how I got this look today in a voiceover style because I was just getting ready jamming out and I'm like, this came out fucking cute. We're going to post this one. So that is what we're going to do today in today's video. So if you guys like these types of videos, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel before you guys leave. And if you guys prefer me to like talk while I'm getting ready or if you like voiceovers better, leave it in the comments down below which one you guys like better. So I think that's everything. Let's just jump right in and let's do this. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is take our Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and use this to prime our eyelids. You can use an eyelid primer, but I just don't see a point in spending the money on one, honestly. So I just blend this out with my Tarte Shaper Sponge. You guys saw me use this in my last tutorial. By the way, if you haven't seen that last tutorial, it was also with the Natasha Denona palette. So if you guys want to see that, I'll leave a card right here. But we're just blending this out with the Tarte Shaper Sponge and just giving us a nice blank canvas. So the next thing that we're going to do is take the shade Rollin' Indo from the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette and just set our entire eyelid. This is just going to set that concealer to prevent any creasing or skipping for our next shadows. So now we're going to dive into that Tropic Palette. I'm first going to take the shade Nudist. I'm going to focus this as my transition shade. I'm going to end up repeating myself like after every tutorial that I do, but I have hooded eyelids, so I do take my shades a lot higher just to give the effect that I do have more of a lid space than I really do and I want to have my shadow showing for when my eyes are open so I do take mine a lot higher you do not have to take yours as high as I do but I'm just blending this from inner to outer corner I apply majority of the product at my outer corner and then blend it inwards and then just doing windshield wiper motions and little circular motions now I'm going to take my Sigma E55 in the shade Peach Puff. This is also in the Natasha Denona palette. And we're just going to focus this on the crease. We're going to really build some definition in my crease to give it the effect that it is a lot higher than it really is. And then we're going to blend it out with our Sigma E40. Just going to go back and forth, applying most of the product with that E55. Just because the more dense the brush is, the more pigmented the shade will show up. And then you want to fluff it out with a more fluffy brush. That way it doesn't look so harsh. So now I'm gonna go back in the shade Peach Puff and just blend it out a little bit more, adding a little bit more product. So we're just going to almost like stab it into where we want the most pigment. And then we're going to blend it out. So it's given that definition, but it's still giving us a really nicely blended look. That's why I love this brush. It, like it does everything for you. It can apply the perfect amount of product, give you the perfect amount of pigmentation, but then still blend it out because it does have that fluffiness. So. Again, Morphe R39 brush. I love this brush. If you're ever interested in my must-have makeup brushes, I'll leave a card right now for my must-have makeup brushes. Now I'm going to take the shade Sangria on my E55 brush from Sigma, and I'm just going to apply this right to the outer corner. You could use that R39 now that I look back at it. I probably could have used that brush because I think it would have applied just as much, but I wanted it to be a little bit more pigmented, so that's why I chose this brush originally. And then I do end up going in and blending it out with that Morphe R39 brush. So now I'm going to take my finger in the shade Gusty or Gusty. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I'm just going to apply it all over the inner corner. Basically everywhere that we don't have eyeshadow right now is where this shade goes. And you can see this does apply better when you swipe it instead of dab it. When I first went in and applied it, it didn't really show up. And then once I got it to build and got a lot more product, it showed up a lot nicer on my eyes. So just be mindful of that. Some people don't like this formula. I'm not personally really a fan of it but I love the mattes in this palette. Like the mattes is what justifies the price for me. So I really do love the mattes, but just remember when you are using these shades, they do apply better when you swipe it on your eye instead of dabbing it on your eye. And that's it for the eyes for now. Now I'm going to go with my face primer. This is the Touch and Salt No Problem Face Primer. It's a decent face primer. I don't think it's the best at Sephora, but for a really affordable price at Sephora, this is like 18 bucks. I feel like it's a decent pore filler primer. So I just focus this on my T-zone. Basically, any area that I have large pores, I just focus it in those areas. Now I'm going to take one of my favorite foundations of all time. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. If you're looking for a more full coverage but natural looking foundation, 
This one is like my all-time favorite. I also love the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation, but I like this one because it does have a little bit more coverage than that one. So if you're looking for a light to medium coverage, the Physicians Formula one is amazing. I've done a video on that on my channel before, but then this one is also amazing if you're looking for like a medium to full coverage. So now I'm going to conceal my under eyes and my T-zone area. I absolutely love this concealer. This is the Collab Makeup No Flaws Liquid Concealer. If you're looking for a more full coverage concealer, this is not the one for you. I don't have darkness or anything under my eyes, so this does just enough for me. This is more of a like light to medium coverage. It just blends out so nicely. It doesn't wear heavy. It looks so natural on the skin. I've just been loving this. I talked about it in my current favorites. It's just a really nice affordable concealer and you can get it at Sally Beauty. Now you guys know I am a loose powder type of bitch, so I'm taking my Collab Makeup Loose Setting Powder and just setting my entire face. I make sure I blend out my under eyes first and then go in and set because we want to make sure all of our creases are blended out first and then go in to set them because this is the step that's crucial for making sure that your liquid products don't move around. So we're going to go in and set everything. I've set every inch of my face with a loose setting powder. You can use a pressed powder if you like. I just personally prefer a loose setting powder. And you guys can see I usually use a lot of loose powder, so I like to go in with a nice fluffy brush and just brush away all the excess powder because we don't want to look cakey and we don't want our makeup to look heavy. So you want to make sure that you dust away any excess powder. Now I'm going to go in and contour with my Morphe R10 brush using my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Now I'm gonna go in and bronze using my Morphe M551 and Makeup Geek Bronze Luster, I think these are called, and this is going to be the shade Tawny. Just gonna focus this on all those areas that I just contoured, so my cheekbones, forehead, and jawline. Now that we got some life to our skin, we're gonna go in and highlight my under eye area, basically everywhere that I put my concealer. So my under eyes, the middle of my forehead, down the center of my nose, and my chin. I don't usually do my Cupid's bow just because I'll go in and use my other highlighter with that, so just highlighting those areas to draw a little bit more attention to the center of my face. So a little tip if your bronzer gets a little bit messy, you could take that banana shade powder and just clean up those areas underneath where your contour line should be. Now I'm gonna go in with blush. This is the Benefit California blush and using my Luxie 640 Pro Precision Tapered Brush. This just gives you a nice little wash of color, doesn't give you too much and I'm just applying most of it right to the apples of my cheeks and then I do blend it back right above where I bronze. So now we're basically going to fake highlight because I didn't realize my camera wasn't recording, but I'm just applying the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gleam Palette in the shade Crushed Pearls. I believe you can get this in the new palette, but I could be totally wrong. I'm not sure, I haven't bought that one yet, but I just think these look absolutely beautiful, so I just apply it to the tops of the cheekbones, tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow. So I just skipped over the brows because I've done a brow tutorial on my channel before and I do it the exact same way. So I'm just taking my Wet n Wild brow mascara and just tapping off my brows, give myself a little bit more coverage and that will be it for my brows. Now I just wanna get rid of all that powderiness so I'm going to go in and spray my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Now I really wanted to pop a color with this look so I took my Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil in the shade Sapphire and Ice and just lined my waterline and then we eventually go in with the shade Laguna from the Natasha Denona Tropic Palette and just set that with our flat definer brush just to give that a nice bright pop of color. Now I just want to soften that under eye just a little bit more so I'm going to take my Morphe R39 with that shade Peach Puff and really diffuse out that harsh blue line in my under eye. So I noticed that my shadows were starting to lose their pigmentation on my outer corner, so I wanted to add a little bit more of that Sangria shade. So this is very common. If you're doing your eyeshadows and you notice that some of the shades start leaving, it's just because you're doing so much blending in most cases. So that's at least for me. So when I start to lose that pigmentation, I just go in and apply a little bit more, add a little bit more pop of color, and then we're good to go. So now I'm just going to add a little pop of color to my inner corner. So I'm taking the shade Mint Frost and Lemon Cello and mixing them together and just adding it right to the inner corner. This is my husband's favorite thing when it comes to makeup, so I always make sure I do something a little, little standout-ish. So I wanted to add a little bit of a blue tint to really tie into that lower lash line, but then still give a brightening effect. So I thought this was really beautiful. I really like the shade that it made when I mixed the two together. I forgot to tell you guys what brush this was. This is the Morphe E38, I believe, or E36, one of the two. That's what I use mostly for my inner corner and brow bone highlight. But now I'm just taking the shade Lemon Cello by itself and just adding it right to that brow bone area. 
So now I'm going to go in and curl my lashes. This is the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. This is such a good eyelash curler. I love it. This is going to be on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty for $15. And the mascara I'm using is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This will also be on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty for, I think, like $12 to $15. Normally, it's like a $24 mascara, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be $12. But I'll leave a card for the 21 Days of Beauty video that I did. So if you guys are looking for any information on that, you can always check there or right on the Ulta Beauty website. Now I'm going to put on some false lashes. These are the Eyelore and Vegas Nay Shining Star Lashes. I think on my Instagram I put that they were the Grand Glamour Lashes, but they are definitely the Shining Star Lashes. So my bad on that one, you guys. But I feel like these are really nice, really wispy, more dramatic lashes. And I feel like they're really affordably priced. And they're really easy to apply. So I do really like these. On my eye shape, I don't know, like looking at the footage back, I kind of think my left eye, like if you're looking at it, it'll be my right eye. I feel like they kind of sit funny on that eye. I don't know. Maybe it was just the way that I applied it, but I do really think these are beautiful lashes. So now moving on to lips, I'm going to do a little lip cocktail. So we're going to start with the NYX Cosmetics Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner. I do really like these lip liners. They remind me a lot of the MAC Cosmetics lip liners. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte Cosmetics Rainforest of the Sea Lipstick in the shade Surf's Up. These are my favorite formula besides the NARS Audacious lipsticks. I love these. I think they last so nicely. They wear so comfortably. I just love these lipsticks and the shade I thought complemented my eye look so nicely, especially those lid shades. This was absolutely perfect for this look. I love it. And then we're going to top it off with the Buxom Full On Lip Cream. This is going to be the shade White Russian, my all-time favorite of all of them. This is the one that I would recommend. If you were to get one, this is the one you should get. It just goes with any lip color. So if you're watching this on March 22nd, which is the day that I post this video, these are still available for $10 each for the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. So go online or go in store and pick one up as soon as you see this because these are so good. They do have that minty tingling sensation. If you don't like that, you will not like these. But I am all about that life. I love these so much. And then that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys tried to recreate this look. If you do, make sure you guys tag me on my Instagram and don't forget to follow me there. But if you guys like this video and you guys like voiceover videos in tutorial form, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button or down. If you don't like them, let me know. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you guys leave because there may or may not be a giveaway coming up when we hit 2,000 subscribers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Peace!